everybody, my name is Brian and I'm the president of Warther Cutlery. Uh, Mooney Warther started this business, uh, he made his first knife in 1902 for his wife and the neighbors and the, all the friends loved the knife and they all wanted one. So the, biz, the Warther Cutlery business was born and Mooney used high grade, high carbon tool steel to make his blades and in turn them knives would last forever. And today here we are in the current workshop if you look around. Um, where we make our, our knives here in Dover, Ohio. Each knife we make is handmade and all our products are bought here in the United States and we make a high quality, high end kitchen cutlery. And if you ever get over this way in Dover, Ohio, we'd love to see you. But when Mooney started, when he did make his first knife in 1902, I mean, that, that was it. And the first knife is over there in the yeah. museum and you guys got to see that. And it, that's the business was started by then, you know, he, yeah. and he, but it was really his son. His son, Dave, loved everything about his dad. And he come up and Dave graduated in 1944, but right then they sent him right to the military and Dave went into the Navy. So, but when he got back, him and he, it was his brother, because if you look on the old knives, it says E. Warther and Sons. Yeah. And the Sons was Tom and Dave. And lo and behold, like a, any other good old family business, the brothers got in a fight one day and Tom decided to go his own way and Dave took over the cutlery business. And in 1954, they incorporated into E. Warther and Son. And <clears throat> Dave took over the business and with his dad and the carving, his dad, dad helped him make knives and his dad worked at the American Sheet and Tin Plate. So he was very familiar with steels and types of steels. And that's what you see over there in the mill. And that was part of him working probably with the knives and stuff. And you know, back then during the depression, they used hacksaw blades. They used any, any type of high carbon steel they could get. So I remember them telling the story of there was an accident of a truck. It was carrying a bunch of hacksaw blades and Mooney, they wanted rid of them. So Mooney went and got all the hacksaw blades and he made a bunch of kitchen knives out of them. So that's a cute little story. But during the war was the only time that Mooney did stop. He stopped carving during that period and he made a thousand commando knives. And them knives are all over. And if you look out there or in the museum, you can see them. And them knives today are very valuable. There was only a thousand of them made. So a lot of them knives are range between six and $10,000. So is that, that's crazy, isn't it? But, but people love them and they're quite the collector's item. I got a few here and we put them on display for people that ask us to do so in memory of their, their father or grandfather. So, so it's a kind of a nice tribute we have, we can do for them. And I got a bunch more I got to put up. I'm just in the middle of trying to change my history display out there as well. So after the war, when Mooney made that last knife, he said that was the last knife he'll ever make to kill somebody. And then they focused on making the kitchen knives. And a lot of the knives you see that are older were bought by local companies and local people. So, you know, they didn't have the internet. So they're only the way they could sell knives was word of mouth or people coming and seeing the museum. And that's how Dave sold a lot of knives. If he could get people to fall in love with his dad and the story, he could sell them a knife. And once they got the knife, they realized that they were, wow, these are, these are awesome. And, and then people would come back and repeat business and people telling other people about it. And it, it just turned into a snowball effect of how they sold kitchen cutlery. So, but today it's a little bit different for us. We use the internet and means to advertise that you know, that actually gets out there and tells people who we are. So, but if you look out, stay out there, there's a picture of Dave in his younger years and behind it was Dale. Dale was Dave's son and he was a big part of the kitchen cutlery manufacturing here and Dale in 2010 got colon cancer and passed away, which was a big shock to the company. But um, together with all of us and some of the family members, we were able to still produce Warther knives and high quality and still take that care and pride that we have for generations and still instill it into our blades.
You know, all our knives we sharpen for free, so that brings a lot of people back in here a lot. I mean, there's a, we sharpen between, in the summer times, two, three hundred knives a day. Every time they bring it in, they get to see our gift shop and stuff we have new, if there's new products and stuff. And the knives, we've added a few knives over the years, but we still make a lot of the same knives, the good quality knives that we've made all those years, the same styles are still popular and still very useful. And they come 